right guys Arrowwood Speedway to start this one off another edition of Tony Stewart Sprint Car Racing as we have another career mode episode for you guys episode number 35 this should be a good one hopefully as uh, we're gonna go into heat race number four we got a double header for you we got this uh, we're gonna run two to three races here and then two to three races uh, in the cup series for NASCAR heat four on the career mode on that side so first off here we go uh, likely just going to have two races in this stream and two in the next. I know they're going to be shorter streams, but at least we're able to get them in tonight. Uh, nevertheless, so here we go. Green flag in the air. We are underway. And obviously without practice or qualifying, kind of tough to tell. Oh my goodness. Well... We already have uh, damage on the car <laughs> like crazy and nearly going at this one I didn't think we made really that much contact I accidentally spun uh, spun out one of the drivers in front of us but yeah that's not good still think we're a little faster than Turner too but we are pushing straight up this racetrack right now Wow I mean, just can't hold the line. Like, car's way too tight. I mean, I'm all the way out of the gas, and it's just pushing up against the... Oh, my God. Right where we left off, man. Right where we left off. I think we've got a shot at fourth. We're definitely going to make the feature here through the heat. Better starting position. I think the better will definitely be for the feature. That is for sure. We got a great run there. Still trying to make a run on Turner. Oh, that was a nice pass on Turner coming out of turn two. Now we just got to hold on for the final couple laps. Coming to the white flag here. One lap to go. So it looks like we're going to finish fourth. Yep. We will finish fourth in our heat. And that means for the feature, we are going to start in 16th. It's not too bad. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Green flag going to be in the air, and we are underway. Going to start 16th. Out of the 25 drivers in the field here in this one. Quickly jumping all the way down to the inside. Got to keep the car clean here as much as possible. Now the outside is going to be my preferred line throughout the course of this race. Passing line obviously going to be on the inside of the racetrack. But we'll see how this is going to go at Arrowwood. Oh man, jeez, uh, how do we, oh my god, dude, I swear, I don't know how we get so much damage so easily, like we made, that was, that wasn't even hard contact, but the, uh, that was, hard. see, that was, oh my, no, this is bad, man, we're only four laps into this race. I thought we were on a good run too. I thought after the last couple of races, great going there for us. And man, that is a bummer. Oop. 
contact there. I guess it wasn't too bad, but. I don't know, man. There's just not much to talk about here. This is just another product of this game. We're going to try to get the best finish we can here, but this is going to... This race is going to hurt us in the point standings. We're already a lap down. We're not even a quarter of the way in. And this is obviously going to be tough to get a good finish. We made a pass on two cars there, so that'll move us up to 14th. Now that we have spaced out a little more, this is working out for us, but the very start of the race was just not good. Kept it clean the first couple laps. We're actually still, even with the damaged car, racing the uh, second place driver of Eliason in open traffic at least. Pretty good. I think we could have had a lot faster of a car than what we ended up having. And, uh, man, I don't agree with the front bumper damage in the heat and in this race. I just did not think we hit him that hard. And we had all the damage repaired, of course, too, so I don't know what the deal was there. Had to get out of the gas big time there. Almost got up into the wall, but yeah. We'll uh, have to see. We do have one more race coming up for you on this live stream, though. So Hopefully we can do something there. And if something similar happens, that's uh, going to suck for the content of this video. But Oh, well, wasn't much I could do about it. Yeah, a lot of damage on the right side of our car. See, the weird thing is, when we got slammed in the left side of our car, we got hit 10 times harder in the left side of our car than what we... Uh, hit that driver in front of us because we oh my god are you serious right now caught okay now we get a caution that's ridiculous dude this game this game gets to me At least we might have a shot to get another position on this racetrack. Looked like we had 14th pretty much locked in. At least we'll have a shot to maybe finish a little bit better, but I just don't think we've got the speed in the car anymore with all this damage. I mean, who knows? Could be wrong, but... Oh my god. Heck, we actually just got passed for position right there. It turns three and four. We're gonna get him back to the one and two though. That'll move us back up to 14th again. Does feel like we're running down Carter a little bit right now for 13th. Not gonna lie.
quite a bit, but it's all right. If we stay in it, I think we've got a decent shot to try and win this thing. Man, the inside of the racetrack is so bumpy. Not as bad in turns one and two, but it seems like three and four. A lot bumpier on the inside. Oh, no. Well, never mind. It's just as bumpy on the inside of one and two as what it did three and four. We're about to go two laps down now. Well, Tony Stewart just spun us. Oh, my God. God. Oh, my. Arca breaks. And now we're two laps down. How do we get caught two laps down in that? We got drilled by three drivers in one corner. So now we can't gain any spots for the rest of this race. But we could certainly lose them. Got to hold on here. We got eight laps to go. Oh, that's what he gets. They're going to stack up behind us now. And we're going to get a caution. But that's not my fault. I mean, they hit me. I mean, I'm running my line. Getting drilled. It's more of a demolition derby in this race than any other race I've ran. How does that keep happening? Like, why can't Cole Turner just raise us clean? Oh my god, dude. Oh. I'm, I, dude, I'm furious right now. I'm not gonna lie. It's ridiculous. At least we only lost the one spot to Turner. We're still in 15th. Again, that doesn't make any sense to me that not even for position, we just keep getting beat around. Like, if I could park it, I would totally park it right now. Even though I'm in 15th. Could be worse. Feels like we're running a lot worse than what we actually are, but that's because we actually had decent speed in the car. Uh, we might even go three laps down before the end of this race. Royal Ison in the race lead. I see he's coming too. Oh yeah, we're definitely going another lap down before the end of it here. Maybe not finish just ahead. And I think Russell just stole the win. Yeah, Rutzel just stole the win away on the last lap of the race. It looked like behind us, so that was pretty cool for him. Uh, but yeah, we're going to finish 15. Two laps down. And Rutzel did get the win by, it looked like a tenth of a second over Corey Eliason. So that was a pretty close finish, but a last lap pass for him. We're still ninth in the point standing, so that's good. We didn't lose any spots despite finishing in 15th. And as we take a look at the standings, that's Rutzel's second win of the year. He is third in the point standings. Uh, kind of pulls away from Elias in a little bit and obviously catches Wise. Yeah, still got that lone win. It came in the last video, believe it or not. So that'll be interesting to see going forward. We did not get a good payout for this race. Under 10000 total, and that's after merch sponsor and uh 
course a race winning so yeah we're in a tough spot well, we just got to finish inside the top 15 for this four race stretch but man we we had a lot of damage after that race so one more race coming up on the live stream here but it will be a longer event it's a showcase race, so this should be a fun one. Gonna repair our damages. Give ourselves a clean slate here, so we're at about 70,000. So we lost money after that last race, unfortunately, but uh, we'll see. Showcase races have a lot better payout. And uh, we'll see what this race is going to bring. Hopefully it brings us more money. That would be nice. So we are going to Denison Speedway for the first showcase race of the season. Very unique track. One corner is high bank, the other corner is flat. Flatter corner is the wider corner. And the tighter of the two corners is actually turns one and two where it is a little bit higher uh, banking. Ooh, tried running towards the top line a little bit there. Got pretty loose. So just trying to get a feel for things here in practice at least. Really trying to tell what the car's doing. It kind of wants to snap loose all over the place at least for right now. I'm sure once we get in rhythm things might get a little bit better of course. Well, this feels a little too loose. Might try tightening it up a hair before qualifying. It feels like it just wants to turn too easy. Like it just kind of wants to pull to the left, especially going into turn three. I'm trying to take that corner wider. It just pulls to the inside of the racetrack. Ooh, barely, barely got the wall there. Wow. Practically just stopped the car in turns three and four. Can't be doing that during the course of the race. Yeah, this thing's way too loose. And it's just moving out of control everywhere right now. Alright, so we'll just uh, carry this on in. At least we got the sponsor goal. So we're going to get a little extra money here. We're going to jump on into qualifying. And uh, we'll hold it loose because loose is seemingly fast. We got two laps here in qualifying to try and set the quick time. Need a good lap. This is a showcase race. So we got to do our best to try and not only perform our best, of course, but we're going to want to make it into not only into the showcase race, but have a pretty solid qualifying effort, too. So maybe give us a better start in our heat race. Give us a pretty decent start for the feature. And honestly, both of these qualifying laps were not bad at all. Uh, lap 2 is actually quicker. 14.97. 12th fastest in qualifying. So not too bad there. Tony Stewart on the pole. So we'll be in heat race number 2. Top three advance to the feature and the top two go to the dash as usual here in the showcase races. And we are going to be starting in third. So maybe we get a good jump here in the start of the race and we'll see. Green flag in the air. What kind of speed do we have in this race car? Down into turn one looking for the lead already. I think we had a run on Elias in there for a second. That didn't pan out. Pretty solid corner through three and four, but we're in second place though after the first lap. 
Oh, a little bump and run on Eliasson as we accidentally dumped him. He didn't hit the wall. He was at least able to save it from hitting the wall. And we're going to lead lap two. Likely, no. We just stuffed it in the wall off of turn four. So we got to kind of take it easy here. McIntyre's in front of us now. So it looks like we're not as good off of turn four. All right, so you're kind of seeing that McIntyre is probably a little bit faster than us right now. And I would assume that Eliason's faster than us as well. McIntyre's not really pulling away from us like I thought he might have. Kind of pulled us out of turn four again right there. We're holding our own though. This is a 12 lap heat race though instead of 10. Ooh, lap traffic costed McIntyre a little bit. We might actually have a shot to win the heat. Well, not anymore. Now we got a lot of right side damage to this race car. So let's just try to hold on to second place. License up to third now, and he's probably going to be coming on us. We've got four laps left, and he's about two and a half seconds off the lead now. He was about three and a half off a lap ago. And we're only two seconds ahead. Three laps to go. It's a lot wider coming out of turn two than what it is coming out of turn number four. Quite honestly, that could be just enough to cost us just enough time. We're about a second and a half ahead here. I think Elison's probably the quickest car in the field, but if we can hold him out of the dash, that would be huge. Was well, heat race number two as well. He qualified second. Oh boy, a little contact with the lap car there. That's going to cost us some time, but here comes Eliason. We're getting close to the end here. The white flag is in the air. One lap to go. Eliason in third, of course. Oh no, sorry, that was the last lap. We're going to finish second, thankfully, because I think another lap Eliason would have had us, to be uh, quite honest. So we're going to be starting seventh in the qualifying dash. It'll be a 10 car dash. McIntyre Jr. wins the heat. Uh, not too bad. In the dash. On a uh, showcase race. That is not bad at all. Now, if we actually win this race, we might be able to get a three star wing set. That would be pretty cool. We'll probably be 20 to 30,000 short. Probably closer to $20,000 short still, but not bad this little slide job turns one and two to start pretty solid run through three and four on the opening lap here we do have 12 laps in this dash once again quickly got up to fifth place oh yeah Carter snaps loose on me at times and honestly I think we're okay as long as we don't get into like it's too much of a battle for the most part here is what it's looking like. Yeah, we made contact first. Guess he had every right to hit us. So now we're back to last here. Justin Peck, though, seemed like he was holding us up there at the turns one and two. like you get to the very exit of turn four and it just wants to push you all the way towards that wall and that's why we hit it a couple times in the heat and in the dash we've almost hit it a couple times like sometimes it grips and sometimes it doesn't because that last lap it gripped pretty well for the most part
dang. So we are going to have five, or sorry, four laps to go rather. Four laps to go at the line this time, still in last right now. But we're kind of hanging with these guys just ahead of us, and I think we're actually faster than both of them. But uh, obviously we should have a good chance to finish inside the top ten. Which a top ten finish in a showcase race, that's pretty good. And we look to the inside for ninth. This is such a tough track to pass on, though. The way these corners are. Had the slide job for the moment. Oh, no, and now we just turned him by accident. Through turns three and four. Nice that we got around him, but that's going to cost us a shot at eighth place, too, because we might have had a shot at Justin Peck there. But now the white flag is in the air. One lap to go. And unfortunately, Abby Barnes is going to finish last. At least there wasn't much cost at us there. We're going to be able to start ninth for the feature. Barnes is going to start 10th, so it wasn't much of a difference there. It was just a matter of lane choice at that matter. Because uh, we'll be re or starting the feature in the same row. So longest race of the year, 50 laps is going to be coming up. So, uh... Yeah, let's get it done. I know I said the car is kind of loose and I was going to tighten it for qualifying. And I almost don't want to tighten it. So I'm scared it's going to push too much coming off of four because it already pushes some of the time. I don't want it to push most of the time. It's hard enough as it is to try and keep the car off the wall on this racetrack. So the green flag in the air. We're going to start things off here. 50 lap feature. That means... Long, you've got to be kidding me, dude. You've on the opening lap of a 50 lap showcase event, we hit the wall just enough, and our car's done the rest of the race. One little hit, man. Look at this. So, I'm not even fast enough to hold on to the position because we got to check up so much in the corners. Like, we went to blinking red immediately. It wasn't like a warning, no yellow, no even red, no dark red. It went straight to blinking red. That is so disappointing, man. Can't express myself enough. Yeah, I just can't keep it off the wall now. Oh my god. Oh my, what is going on with the car, man? Why is it jumping around like that? Well, we're in last. Out of 20 cars. I can't keep it off the wall, especially at a turn four now. Yeah, we're going to go... A lot of laps down. We're going to go at least three to four laps down in this feature now. This just sucks. Tony Stewart is currently leading this race. This is the first of five showcase races on the season. But man, both of these races on this live stream are just not panning out for us at all. It's going to be a long race. I mean, we're two and a half to three seconds off. 19th so even just to gain that one spot to gain just enough points just a little bit more race winnings it just doesn't look like it's gonna happen 
Now the good news is with us making the feature alone for the showcase race, even though we have as much damage as we do on the car right now. Still couldn't keep it off the wall, but anyway, uh, yeah, what, what the heck, man? How do I just lose control like that in the corner? Oh my. It's pushing just with me trying to turn the car when it stopped. Like, I don't, I don't get it. Probably gonna get steamrolled from behind too. Two laps down. Now we got guys hitting us again. Got so much money to repair again, man. We're gonna waste most of our earnings here off of this race, which again, that just, it sucks so bad that that's the case. gosh so we're dark red on the right side of our car we're blinking red on the front bumper since the first lap when we accidentally dinked the wall just enough the inside I I mean I could see it going to yellow there maybe red but how does it get that damage one hit we weren't even up to speed yet because it was the first corner of the race no it was the first corner it was the first lap but still weren't quite like fully up to speed well I was actually excited to play this game tonight the way the last stream ended when we played Tony Stewart sprint car racing but yeah it's gonna suck Three laps down, we're not even halfway through the race. I said we were gonna go at least three to four laps down. Once we had that damage and it's looking like we're gonna go more than four, way more than four. Unless we get timely cautions at this point. We're over a lap behind 19th, which is next on the track. Like that's seriously how much damage we've got. Not gonna lie with how tired I am, man, dude. This just wants to put me to sleep. <laughs> Getting beaten around. This was not an enjoyable stream for my behalf, and I'm sure it probably wasn't for you guys as well. I'm sorry. I really am. Hopefully we have better luck with uh, NASCAR Heat 4 career mode. Been really looking forward to play that game, but I was looking forward to this too, and it just sucks that... We have speed. This is two races in a row. We could have easily finished top 10. Maybe could have contended for a top 5 um, in both races. More so in the last race than this race. But, I mean, what? We started 7th in the dash. We made the dash. So I just crossed the flag, uh, flag stand there to make it halfway. We got the cross flags that time. You know, with running dead last, we've already got a lot of damage. I don't know where Zeb Wise is at. But I think this is a good race to repay him next time we see him. And I notice that he's right there.
my goodness, dude. Thank goodness I don't have 25 laps left. We're over a lap behind the next closest guy in 19th. We're dead last in the feature. At least it's out of 20, not 25 in this race, but still, again, man. I'm sending it on Tony. Dick. I don't even care at this point. Oh, we got more damage. Not much more. Now we're blinking on the right side. Instead of just in the front, we got dark red on the left too. Tony wanted to hit me, man. He was leading the race. He had more to lose than we did. So if we costed him the win, so be it. Sad part is Tony Stewart's still in the lead somehow. Like, see, and that's the thing too. Like, we get so much damage for very, 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 very little contact. The AI, I mean, they bounce off of guys all day and they get no contact. Or when they take hard hits like I gave Tony there, no issue. They might spin out, which Tony did. I don't know if he clobbered the wall in or not either. I just feel like the AI has to be on the same level as... As me. the worst time for this to be the longest race of the year as far as laps are considered it's a half mile racetrack which is a I mean it's a medium size half mile is kind of longer for a dirt track but just amazing to me we're over two laps behind second to last place car in the feature and we are six laps down on the racetrack we have four laps to go three to go now for Tony Stewart and the leaders I think there's a good chance we're gonna go seven laps down before the end of this race I see us going another lap down that's just so disappointing and obviously no pit stops here when you're dirt racing, so that in any series of dirt racing. This car's so out of control too, that doesn't help anything either. Now we're just getting drilled from behind again. Abby Barnes. Just going so slow, dude. Three laps behind 19th. Like that, that shouldn't happen. Tony Stewart's gonna get the win. Man. Somehow we're still ninth in the point standings despite finishing last in the feature. But we're only two points ahead of Justin Peck now. And just in the last two races alone, we've lost so much ground to Skylar Gee in eighth. It's unfortunate. It's so unfortunate, man. We're now 54 points behind. We're just single digits behind, too, coming into this 
live stream. We were single digits behind seventh. We were ninth in points. Tony Stewart again. He got the win. That's his fourth of the season. At least the race winnings, you know, just for making the feature alone are quite a bit, but still. So we are going to net some because we still made the feature in a showcase race, but man, it, we should have finished anywhere between, I don't know what, 10th to 15th for sure. Yeah, we could have easily taken top 15. Just like that, we're going to miss out on our incentive bonus. It's because we got wrecked out early. So we can get two top tens in a three race stretch. I know we're struggling right now, but we need those sponsor bonuses, man. Just over ninety thousand dollars, but we got to repair our damage right now. So that's what we're gonna do. So we only netted about nine thousand dollars. So already, next race is gonna be race number ten. On the season. And I think that's going to be it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's going to end it here. So uh, that's going to be all here for this one. Uh, for more daily NASCAR content, as always, hit the subscribe button down below. We got the second stream coming up right after this NASCAR Heat for career mode. Uh, we'll have two races coming for you there. And then I need to get to bed. So... Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed again hit the like button if you enjoyed but wasn't a lot of action i'm sorry for this one uh almost uh you would say a waste of time but yeah that was uh that was not fun at all hopefully things go better in the next one and uh hopefully things go better in nascar heat 4 coming up shortly see you in a couple minutes